out of time. They haven't been able to score any runs as we're moving late into this one. A perfect time for this leadoff guy to try to get on base and ignite a rally. We're moving along late into this one, and it's no surprise this guy continues to pitch well. Over 80% of his first pitches have been for strikes. And when you're doing that, you really put the hitters on the defensive. Well, there to spear this one is right. Looked like self-defense that time. One away. Here comes the first pitch. And he fouls this one off. Pitch on the way. And he'll try to hold back the swing, but he'll do so unsuccessfully as that's ruled a strike. Can't get him to chase. It's one and two. Pretty good pitch right here to a left-handed power hitter. The one thing you want to do, keep the ball inside so he can't get those long arms out and extended. Really good pitcher's pitch right there, even though he didn't get the called strike. Got him. Three. Four outs away from his date with history. Ready for another shot now, Josh Harrison. He got called out on strikes his last time through. Tried to check it, and it's 0-1. Wave and a miss, a tick behind a good fastball. Ready with the 0-2. Started to go around there, but he holds up ball one. <laughs> Not sure what he saw in that pitch, but it sure looked tempting. And at least got him. So that's eight perfect innings. So that brings up the Hall of Famer, Alan Trammell. He'll get things started now in the bottom of inning number eight. Slow little grounder left side. And the throw is not going to be in time as he's able to reach base safely. First pitch on its way. Pitch outside the throw. The 1-0 home. Runners on his way to third. Bunt attempt is popped into foul ground. Pitch out. Nothing doing. Pickoff move to second, but he gets back in time safe at second base. The 2-1 home doesn't hit the target. It's ball three. This is where if you're the batter, one pitch, one spot, and you get the barrel or the bat to that baseball as quick as possible with damage on your mind. No walk so far. Here's the 3-2. Now a bunt attempt here. Only plays to first, so the pitcher does his job as it's a successful sacrifice. So the lineup flips over and digging in, Dave Parker. He reached base on an error and later came around to score last time up. First pitch fastball runs a bit too high. It's ball one. There's a swing, and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. Lynn going back on the warning track. He makes the catch. And the runner scores from third as they extend their lead. Digging in the switch hitter, Jose Ramirez. Base is empty and two gone following the sacrifice fly. Hit hard on the ground towards second. Gordon is up with it. Throw on to Canerco gets him, and the inning is over. Here's Xander Bogart. Emilio Bonifacio is going to be asked to try and be the rally starter as he's up off the bench ready to lead it off in the ninth. Back to him on the mound. And this is taken for the out. Ready once again. James Andrew Benintendi will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. And a change up here, but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball. Ball and a strike. High in the air and drifting out to shallow center. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. Now at the plate, Francisco Mejia. He represents the 27th and many hope final batter in this masterful performance. Ball one to start the at bat. Swing and a ground ball. This could do it. 
throw in time. He's done it. A perfect game. Well, you don't have to look too far to find our tops player of the game. I'd say any time you throw a perfect game, you'd be a pretty strong candidate. Yeah, no need to offer any debate this time. All you have to do is look at the box score. No hits, no walks, not even a base runner. We talked about his brilliance all game long, and you can bet he's going to celebrate this one tonight.